Good morning, THS. Today is Wednesday, May 2nd. I'm Nate. And I'm Dingus, and you're watching Viking News. Northeast State will be here today to complete fall course registration for any student who plans on attending Northeast State in the fall and has completed the admissions process. Sports physicals for next year will be given at Virginia High on Saturday, May 12th from 9 to 10 a.m. Students must have the TSSAA form with the front completed and signed by parent forms can be picked up in the athletic office or downloaded at www.twsaa.org. The cost is $10 cash. No checks will be accepted. Now, Daniela Ocampo will introduce you to one of our new science teachers. Miss Wood is one of our new science teachers here at THS. She taught in Kentucky last year. She is enjoying teaching physical science and physics here in Bristol. Tennessee High is so much better, um, but don't ever tell my kids that. At Ryan Station, they'd hate me for it. I love them. I miss them dearly, but I definitely just have so much more fun here at Tennessee High. There's definitely more of a pride at this school, and um, I love the rivalries across all of the different Tri-Cities, and I just I enjoy it here. I have more fun. I come in the morning smiling, happy to be here, glad to be at work, and I leave the day smiling, and I couldn't ask for um anything more than that in a job so i'm loving it and she has had some really interesting learning experiences so i took everything from studying different types of reptiles and looking at um in the water wading finding different species of fish i worked i did um, a little bit of work catching turtles so we were like the turtle hunters where we'd have to like set traps in different ponds and go catch them um, and there were times that we caught alligator snapping turtles, and I tried to act really cool, like I could handle it, but I freaked out every time. And then I actually got to work for a grant while I was at Auburn, where we got to incorporate nanotechnology in middle school classrooms. So um, I had fun working with different professors to incorporate that into different um, lesson plans and things like that for middle schoolers, and did like teacher trainings, so I enjoyed so when my husband's in physical therapy school down at ETSU, and whenever I first found out that we'd be moving to Johnson City, and I looked it up on the map, and I saw how many people lived in Johnson City, Bristol, and Kingsport, it was just, I cried. I cried and cried and cried because I thought I was moving to some like small country town that would not have anything, and um, we came down to find a place to live, and even then, I just kept crying and crying and crying, not wanting to move here. And I've been here since June, and we actually just bought like a, our own little condo townhome and hope to be here five to ten years. Uh, I've fallen in love with Tennessee High, with Johnson City, Tennessee, and we love the area. We have fun going hiking on the weekends, and we take advantage of uh, Tweetsie Trail often and, and Asheville going easily down there. And, um, love the proximity of the Tri-Cities. So now it's just funny in hindsight of it actually how much I love the area and hope to be here for quite some time. And this is Daniela Ocampo signing out for Viking News. You can register now at ACT.org to sign up for the June 9th ACT and the brand new July 14th ACT. These two tests are the final exams of this academic year 2017-2018. Again, ACT dates are June 9th and July 14th. The Learning Lab will be closed until May 7th due to EOC testing. Anyone interested in Bristol Youth Leadership can pick up an application in the Guidance Office, the deadline in May 11th. Please join Ms. Sutherland for free ACT Academy from 3 to 4 p.m. in the Library Lab, May 3rd, May 10th, and May 17th. We are sold out of yearbooks. Pre-sold yearbooks may be picked up in the cafeteria. The end of year exams begin for seniors with second and fourth period exams on Wednesday, May 16th, and first and third period exams on Thursday, May 17th. Seniors will not attend school Friday, May 18th, but other classes will take their fourth period exams on that day. On Monday, May 21st, first and second period exams will be taken with third period exams on Tuesday, May 22nd. Class nights will be held on Friday, May 11th at 7 p.m. Graduation will be held on Saturday, May 19th at 10 a.m. There is an anchor sign-up sheet in the main office for those who are interested in the club. It will be there until next Wednesday, May 9th. Now here's Sydney and Ethan with your weather forecast and cafe watch. 
Good morning, THS. I'm Ethan here with your weather forecast. Today will be mostly sunny with a high of 81 and a low of 56 with a 10% chance of rain. Now back to the studio for your cafe watch. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty cool to be on TV. So all the folks back home can see me. And that I'm living it out, all the things I used to dream about. Yeah, it's pretty great, saying on the stage. Proud cause there ain't an empty seat in the place But girl, ever since I met you I got a whole new perspective If I'm gonna be In sports news, the THS softball team will play against University High at home tonight at 6 p.m. Boys and girls tennis will play against Sullivan South at home at 3.30 p.m. Come out and support your mighty bikes. In local news, police have discovered that a woman who was dumped in the parking lot of an Abingdon hospital was actually injured more than 100 miles away in North Carolina. The 50-year-old had been stabbed, but she is expected to make a full recovery. In national news, an inflatable duck became a traffic hazard in Iowa when it came free of its tether and started rolling down a busy street. Mark R. Wallace posted a video showing the massive inflatable duck tumbling down Southeast 6th Street in Des Moines after coming for you from its tether at a charity event. Stephen Quirk, CEO of Youth Emergency Shelter and Services, said Quacky the Duck traveled about two blocks from his temporary home outside Two Rivers Marketing where they had been holding an event last Thursday. And that's all for Viking News. Have a wonderful Wednesday. You'll probably think that you are better now, better now. You only say that because I'm not around. Would've gave you anything, would've gave you everything, you know